Hey, Captain Ross Robertson with Big Water Fishing. You know, you hopefully have seen our videos, shenanigans, podcasts, whatever it may be. Well, here's what we're doing now, if you haven't seen. A project boat. Why would I buy a 20 year old boat? I have no idea. But we really wanted to have a little tiller boat. They're kind of a cult like following. They didn't make them that long. The Ranger 618. We took this just absolutely destroyed, tore up, hit, whatever you want to call it, smashed up boat. And we rebuilt this thing from top to bottom. Part two on the project boat. Trolling motor, foot pedal tray. Kind of a small deck for what I'm used to. And we've got a lot of electronics and things up there, a lot more than what was around when this boat was actually built. So we wanted to get that trolling motor foot pedal down for comfort and also for space. So this is kind of a big deal when you drill a, and cut a big hole in your front deck. So make sure you stay tuned to part two on the foot pedal tray trolling motor install. So this is a little bit smaller boat than I'm used to, and since this has been built, guys are using more and bigger graphs. So things are a little tighter up here, this whole front deck, I'm a tall, big guy. So one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Minn Kota Altrex pedal and we're gonna get that recessed down in there. A lot of you bass guys do that, a lot of guys do that in the boats like I currently have. But I bought this recessed tray, so we're gonna install this down here, but there's a lot of measurements and things to take into consideration before you drill a giant hole in your boat. And a lot of that is also where my electronics are gonna go and making sure that I'm not gonna hit anything. So we're measuring compartments, we're seeing what's underneath, we're gonna gain access to our panel here to make sure before we drill a big hole that this can go in with no issues and that we have our electronics uh, bases planned out in advance. So just really briefly and quickly, I drew an outline of where I think that this is gonna lay out and I did that by just turning the tray upside down. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a template. Uh, but as a kind of another precautionary step, because again, you only get to drill and cut a hole one time, is I'm just taking my little gauge here and seeing what that offset is off of what I know is the outside line because I'm kind of using this as a template. So I'm gonna build a little piece of cardboard here for that cutout then I'm also just using this little gauge here and gonna go around my mark. So I'm gonna see how close that those things are and make sure everything's lining up just right. So it did not come with a template, even though it said it was going to. So we're gonna make our own out of some cardboard here real fast. No big deal. So now that we've got our template placed down, I've got my lines put down there. I'm gonna drill in each corner and then we're gonna use a jigsaw to cut this out. So that way the corner hole, that little tough area to turn is already gonna be taken care of. So we won't have any uh, issues there. up a little bit kind of pry and screwdrivers and everything to make sure not to damage the glass around it again first time doing this but just using a, hopefully a little bit of common sense i drilled an extra little slot in there which really was good because i need to just use a little curl bar and then look at there there's our piece all out so now we got to dig the foam out and that is the next step but the good thing is i don't see any daylight down there because i was scared i was scared A little bit of planning, a little bit of luck. We got this all kind of scoped out there. We used basically just a little pry bar and a, and a carpet cutter to just dig away that foam, make sure that we have enough, uh, enough gap to get that whole mount in flush. The next thing we're gonna do is, is we're gonna basically make like a trough because we're gonna have a drain in here. So we don't want all the water that may be coming in here to sit in there and have nowhere to go. So we're gonna put a drain in here and then put a little area for a tube back towards the bilge. So we've got a big drain hole in there, but I really wanted to find a way to make that as flush as possible so we don't have an eighth of an inch of water or something sit there. So I did find the actual flush drain deal here, stupid expensive for a piece of plastic, but I've got to get that hole pretty big. And the problem is if you've ever used a hole saw or anything is that that hole is just 
where it needs to be quite a bit wider. But to drill into that being aluminum is kind of a pain in the butt. And I've got a step bit, which a lot of you guys may use, but that's not going to be big enough because this is over an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of scrap wood through the little other little holes they've got there. And that's gonna allow me to have a center so that I can use a regular hole saw, but I have something to bite into as a guide so it's not gonna jump all over the place. So what I did was I just drilled these bottom holes and tapped them so that I could put a screw in there or a machine bolt. And that way I'm just not gonna have the water going out. We've got our drain and flush. We've got that all hooked up there. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just take a, barely just take the corner off this because the way that the contour of the boat front deck is, it's just a lot easier if we just kind of nip that right off. So we've got the compartment pretty well cut out here, but now I'm just using a file to make a little channel so that we can drain this out to one of the drains that's already in the bow. So we've got plenty of depth excuse me, left over there, but now we're just making basically a little tunnel so that we can get our tube right here, and we're gonna feed this through from the drain and then down right into the build drain. So we attached our drain hose here, and it's got a little barb on it, but I'm gonna put a hose clamp on it just to be safe, because if this was to come off or get pulled off, that would be a bad deal. That water drain in there probably wouldn't know it for a hot bit. So that's all there is to it. So we're getting ready to put the tray in and I'm just gonna lay a little bead of silicone down all around the edge here. I figure that might be the least messy way just a little bit because I know it's gonna shoot out. And then we're gonna set that tray in. That's pretty much the last step. That is literally the last screw and almost the end of this darn foot pedal deal. It's been kind of a pain. All we gotta do is just tuck this drain uh, hose down into the bilge drain and we are pretty much good to go. We got a little bit of extra silicone around here, but we'll let that dry and then just use a plastic razor blade to, to scrape that away. It's a lot easier to deal with once it's hardened. Other than that, when that settles up, we're gonna get this all put back together. And that's how you put in a foot tray.